Are you looking to get a new puppy soon or do you have your new puppy at home and working remotely but scared to go back to work because you don't know how long your puppy can stay at home for? Well, this video is specifically made for you. My name is Danette and welcome to the Dog Mom Diaries. you that I was someone who was very concerned about going back to work how long can I leave my puppy at home for will he be okay what's the maximum time that I can leave him at home alone for well there are some couple of tips that I learned along the way and I wanted to make this video to share these tips with you guys so tip number one is when you first get your puppy make sure you schedule our two three maybe five days of work out because remember that this is going to be an eight week old puppy so he needs your full attention it's just like having a new baby now luckily we don't need the full maternity leave when we get a new puppy but you do need a couple of days to help him adjust to your new home or for him to adjust to his new home so a couple of days would be absolutely amazing just to lay a good foundation for him and to get him comfortable so that he doesn't develop any sort of separation anxiety or any sort of stress when you need to leave the home Number two, start gradually. I started by leaving him home only for five to 10, maybe 20 minutes at a time. And this was about week two to week three when we first got him. All that he knows is you staying there with him all the time. So take it easy, take it gradually, preferably uh, a crate. I would highly recommend crate training. Now, I know this is already two to three weeks after getting him, so you're probably thinking, Danette, I have a full-time job. I can't just, you know, stay at home the whole time and, you know, make these arrangements to train him how to be alone for a couple of hours. The great thing is that we have amazing friends and family and a support system who would be willing to help you out. I promise you, there were so many people when I started telling people about getting a new puppy, they were all jumping and they were like, listen, if you need help puppies sitting for a while while you need to work or something, just let me know. The great thing is we are in the 21st century and there are so many people that are working remotely and these people will be willing to help you. Tip number four is make sure you guys do some research on places where you can take him. Like there are a couple of daycares where you can take him. There are pet sitters who are, you know, there to come out to your house and actually look after your pets. And, um, you know, you can do your research beforehand so that you know that he's in good hands when you are not there. Tip number five is not to give access to you, the whole house for your puppy. When you first get to make sure he only goes to maybe one room and you puppy proof the whole house. Also something to consider is crate training because it's a great way of controlling his environment and making sure that he doesn't put himself or you know your apartments or your house in any kind of danger because teething is a serious thing and it can be a danger for your house. He chews on absolutely everything if we're not there. So it's a great way to monitor and to make sure that he doesn't go where he can't go. Tip number six is before you leave the house, make sure that your dog is well exercised and he goes potty before you leave so that you know that he's gonna be nice and tired and he's not going to need more exercise. He's going to want to sleep when you leave the house. Seven is if you are working from an office, use your lunch time to go and check up on your puppy, let him out and then put him back into the crate. You don't necessarily have to stay home, but you can use your lunch time and go check up on him, make sure he's safe. Tip number eight is when you are leaving him at your home and you're thinking, okay, but when will he be okay to be left alone completely roaming in the house, not in his crate? I would say look at about eight months only because that's when the teething stage will be done. Remember, they do teeth between six and eight months. It all depends on how your puppy develops, so it's each to their own. But make sure that if you leave him alone in the house to roam and not in a crate, that it's past the teething stage because the teething can cause damage to your furniture because they, they are really frustrated in that time. They do need stuff to chew and they will look for the next available option. 
And then the last tip that I can give, and this is probably my most important one, is use the rule of thumb, which is the amount of months that your puppy is old plus one is the amount of hours that you can leave him alone for. So meaning like in his crate. So say my puppy is for, he's three months old now, so I can leave him for maximum four hours alone. And this is only for the first six months when you will be able to use this rule. Um, so the amount of months plus one is the amount of hours that he can be left alone. So that is it for today's video. We are going to go enjoy the rest of our beach walk. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you click on this link because it's going to take you to my potty training video to help potty train your puppy within a couple of weeks.